As hospitals begin to loosen coronavirus restrictions, we're getting an inside look at the steps Carillion is taking to keep you safe. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell shows us some of the new procedures in place at Roanoke Memorial Hospital. As hospitals worldwide have been forced to make dramatic changes because of the coronavirus, Carillion decided better safe than sorry. We saw the writing on the wall. We saw that this was the right thing to do. And instead of waiting for it to be mandated, we said this is the right thing to do for our patients. Implementing strict guidelines like pausing all elective procedures and banning visitors. We did a good job in convincing people that they didn't have to come to the hospital. Now those non-essential operations are back, as are limited visitors. And, and Dr. Michael Nussbaum is asking patients to come back too. We feel that it's extremely safe for patients to come back in and have those operations that we delayed back in March. New guidelines start at the door. Hi, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good. Visiting someone or an appointment? Health screenings that we went through for ourselves. Okay. Any recent fever, dry cough, shortness of breath? A series of questions followed by a temperature check. 97.3. We want to be very careful. Face masks, face shields, social distancing from the waiting room to the elevator and extensive cleaning. Operating rooms now back to 90% capacity. Patients must self-isolate days before surgery and test negative for COVID-19. A phased approach to getting back on track. But it's still not back to normal. It's not, I don't think we're going to be back to normal for a long time. A new normal for health care during a health crisis. In Roanoke, Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you. Carillion doctors say they're keeping a close eye on surges happening in other states and will go back to tighter restrictions if necessary.